Hey, good morning. I woke up this morning and guess what I got today? I got snow. And Cameron actually likes snow. I didn't know about this because he doesn't like rain. It's so weird. But snow, he likes. He's actually eating it and playing it this morning. So that's awesome. I'm so excited. Uh, today is November 26 and we're reading Proverbs 26 because guess what? A proverb day keeps the devil away, right? And I have lots of energy today, so this is a great day. Plus, I got the kids today in Sunday school, so I need lots of energy for that. Okay, so what we're doing, put those there because the camera seems like he wants to run up here. Okay, it says, honor is no more associated with fools than snow with summer or rain in harvest. Like a fluttering, like a fluttering sparrow or darting swallow, an undeserved curse will not land on its intended victim. Guide a horse with a whip or a, a donkey with a bridle and a fool with a rod to his back. Don't answer the foolish arguments of fools or you will become as foolish as they are. Don't answer... I just read that. Be sure to answer the foolish arguments of fools or they will become wise in their own estimation. Trust a fool to convey a message is like cutting off one's feet or drinking poison. A proverb in the mouth of a fool is as useless as a paralyzed leg. Honoring a fool is as foolish as trying, tying a stone to a slingshot. A proverb in the mouth of a fool is like a thorny branch blindsided by a drunk. An employer who hires a fool or a bystander is like an archer who shoots at random. As a dog returns to his vomit, so a fool repeats his foolishness. There is more hope for fools than for people who think they are wise. A lazy person claims, there's a lion on the road. I'm sure there is a lion out there. Yes, I'm sure there's a lion out there. As the door swings back and forth on its hinges, so the lazy person turns over its bed. Lazy people take their food, take food in their hand, but don't even lift it to their mouth. Interfering in someone else's argument is as foolish as yanking a dog's ears. Just as dam damaging as a madman shooting a deadly weapon is someone who lies to a friend and says, I'm only joking. Fire goes out without word and quarrels disappear with goss when gossip stops. A quarrelsome person starts a fight as easily as hot embers light charcoal or fire lights wood. Rumors are daintily morsels. They sink deep into one's heart. Smooth words may hide a wicked heart, just as a pretty glaze covers a clay pot. People may cover their hatred with pleasant words, but they are deceiving you. They pretend to be kind, but don't believe them. Their hearts are full of many evils. While their hatred may be concealed by trickery, their wrongdoing will be exposed in public. If you set traps for others, you will get caught in it yourself. If you roll a boulder down on others, they will crush you instead. A lying tongue hates its victim, and flattering words cause ruin. So I was going to read a different proverb, but God remembered, reminded me of something. So we're going to read this one. So the proverb is right here, because people do this all the time, right? They do it, they do it all the time. It says, Proverbs 27, 19. It is... Oh, let's see. Just kidding. Yes. Just as demanding as a madman. Sorry, 18 and 19. Just as demanding as a madman shooting a deadly weapon is someone who lies to a friend and says, I'm only joking. Okay. Let's talk about joking, right? Because a lot of times, you know, I, I had a friend that did that to me. And it's like the joke isn't funny because it's a lie. You know what I mean? And I'm believing that lie. So it's completely a lie. Um, but they don't see it as that. Because they're not there, like, you know, spiritually or, um, you know, because anything that comes out of your mouth has to be the truth. It doesn't matter if you're trying to do a joke. If you're trying to do a joke, tell a joke. Like, um, I'm horrible at jokes, you know. I'm bad at bad jokes. But there are jokes that you can tell that are not, going to form a lie out of your mouth when you start telling jokes that are supposedly jokes right they're not jokes because 
you're lying to me about something, right? And then you say you're joking way after it, it's all gone through. So is that a lie or is that a joke? In your eyes, you say it's a joke, right? But scripturally speaking, that is not a joke. That is a lie that is coming out of your mouth. So you have to be very careful when you say, oh, I'm only joking. Why is it even coming out of your mouth? What's so funny about that? Right? What, what's really the joke? Because it doesn't seem like a joke to me because you're hurting my feelings. You know, because I see it as a lie. So when you're telling somebody a joke, you know, um, what's the boogie to sh the, the, uh, I don't know. I can't remember jokes. I wish I knew a joke. Just a random, like, kid's joke or something like that. You know what I mean? Um, it's the sneezing one about the boogie, the tissue. If you know it, put it in the comments, please. Um, put a little boogie in your tissue, tissue boogie. I can't remember. I can't, I hate that, that I don't remember jokes at all. I'm horrible with jokes. But... The thing is, is that don't sit there and, you know, um, tell a, tell a lie for a joke. It, you shouldn't do that at all. And a lot of these proverbs about fools, right? You know what a fool is? Somebody who doesn't receive the word, who, um, doesn't, doesn't get it, doesn't get God's message. Um, you know, cause there's so much about fools, 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 fools. And it's basically talking about the people who are like, um, one of them that really stood out to me, too, I think I got some time here. Um, oh, my goodness. It was like, uh, the proverb in the mouth of a fool is useless as a perilous leg. There's a proverb in the mouth, proverb in the mouth. Now, I'm telling you this, right? But if you don't get it, if you don't, you know, of course, you can always come and talk to me, too. You can always message me on Instagram. Um... And message me in the comments and say, hey, you know, Lizzie, I don't get that. I don't get this. Um, but the thing is, is that, you know, we do, sometimes we do a lot of stupid stuff. We're human, right? But the most important thing that you can do is in your life is read the Bible. Read the Bible and start talking to God. I talk to God every day, all the time, especially when I'm in the bathroom. That's a very good place to talk to God. Trust me, it is. Because there's no animals to mess with you unless you leave the door open and then they all come in for some odd reason. I don't know why. Why is the bathroom? But, um, but yeah, talk to God. Really, really talk to God. Because God is next to you all the time, every day. He's right there. You just got to reach out and be like, hey, Jesus, what's up? And you can talk to him in any way. It doesn't have to be like, oh, you know, you don't have to do that. Just talk to God in any way you want to talk to him. If you're still cussing, right, which you shouldn't be, but if you're still cussing, you, you know, you can, that's the, that's how you talk. Talk to God like that. But he'll clean up that cuss word out of you because he cleaned it up out of me. He did because I was like, hey, effing God, hey, how effing are you? And everybody's like, you can't pray like that. You can't talk to God like that. I was like, he knows my language. That's how I was. That's how I was. And, uh, but God cleaned that up out of me. I don't swear at all. Like, mm, 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 mm. nope. No, sir, read Bible Looney. I do not swear at all. And so, God will clean that up out of you. But you have to open that door in your heart to actually talk to him. You have to do that. And if you come to God with swears, that's fine. It's fine. God will clean it up out of you. I'm telling you, he did that to me. I love you. Have a blessed and beautiful day. And I got snow.